Nah, nah, why are these pancakes so tough, B? <laughs> nah, I'm taking up too much time trying to cut through some supposed thick and fluffy pancakes. These pancakes are acting up. They got that dry toughness to them. SoundCloud rapper toughness to them. Ain't nobody ordered these Napolicious pancakes. I need to add some water to these things. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. What is going on, foodie fam? What's happening with you? It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with another best and worst reviewed restaurants right here in my state. If you're new right here, stay true right here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, Dame Drops is back again. And of course, hit me in the comment section below and let me know what spots you want me to slide to next for the best and worst reviewed foods right here in my state. Now, just the other day, we went to the best reviewed restaurant for breakfast, and now it's time to go to the worst reviewed restaurant for breakfast. Let's read some of these reviews. Is there even a way to rate this zero stars? Ew. Firstly, it took one and a half hours to get our food. Not once did our waitress ask us if we wanted to refill our coffee or water during this time. We had three children with us who were extremely hungry and by the time the food came out, we were eager to finally eat, only to be extremely disappointed. None of our food was cooked as ordered. The medium well steaks were tough and extremely overcooked and burnt. The bacon that we had asked for to be well done was soggy and still raw in the milk. Oh, come on, dog. And our our two-year-old eggs. But let's just hope they meant the two-year-old, not two-year-old eggs, all right? Our two-year-old eggs, let's just say not only was it undercooked, but the egg whites were still raw. Oh, way to try to give your customers food poisoning. Of the six of us, not one person ate our food as each person either had their order done wrong or was undercooked or overcooked. Never come in here again or recommend to anyone this place is disgusting. Mm, sorry fam, I'm over here getting a little queasy, queasy. Mm -hmm. Stomach over here turning, turning. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. I've been going here for years and must say that today was a horrible visit. My friend was asking questions about what was in the meal. And the waitress just went back to the kitchen to ask, but talked badly about us to her co-worker after doing so multiple times at that. We were poorly served, things were late, an attitude from the waitress, and an overall bad experience. The managers to speak to their staff. Fam, this is two for two on the bad bad. Like, this isn't even sounding too good. And I'm hoping, hoping this, these, these reviews are from like 2021. So I'm hoping things got a little bit better. Uh, one more, we, we going in. Uh, just not the same quality as it once was. Dinner is iconic, but the old days of this place has passed by. I wonder if that meant diner is iconic. Might be. Food was just okay. Prices are very high for a diner. It is clean. Worth to go if you've never been, but much better options are in the area. All right, foodie fam. So basically food can be undercooked, can be overcooked, can be underwhelming. Apparently service is boo-boo to fool. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. And uh, things have gone downhill. All right, fam, so we're going to have to slide over to 3413 Berlin Turnpike, Newington, Connecticut, to a spot called Olympia Diner. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. It's time to cue the music. You know the vibes, baby. We done got on the pool up. Oh, yeah. Th th this part right here is ghetto, family. Uh, apparently, your boy was filming in slow motion. So, yeah, the audio didn't work out too well for this. But I did bring Mom Dukes with me to hit up the worst reviewed breakfast restaurant in my state. And this is us about to slide over to Olympia Diner. And Mom, she ain't even looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Are we scared? You know what you mean? Mm -hmm. What you mean? Two eggs, fried. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hi. What would you like today? Can I get the uh, with two eggs fried? Over hard? Like cooked all the way through, or you want it soft? Uh, cooked all the way through. Okay. okay. Like, instead of a uh, toast, I get a uh, corn muffin toasted, mm -hmm. and then french fries instead of the potatoes. 
French fries and what? Instead of the potatoes. Okay. Okay. Yep. And this large ice water. And a water. Right. So I'm going to do uh, pancakes with bacon extra crisp. Three pancakes, bacon extra crisp. Uh -huh. Let me have um, an English muffin toasted okay. with uh, grape jelly. Okay. Also, let me have let me get some eggs fried hard. Two eggs or three eggs? Um, do two eggs fried hard. Do you home fries for that or no? We'll do, uh, you do home fries for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, all right. You want me to take the menus to make some room? Or it's sure, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all know me, I got to start with the bacon. I have to. It's even necessity for me. We're not looking at the burnt, crispy edges that we're seeing in other locations. But uh, the bacon seems like it's been made well, well prepared, hopefully with a nice crisp to it and good flavor. Mm. Oh wow. Is there crunch on there? Mm hmm. Bacon good, good. Is it? Yeah. They made it change. Mm hmm. Not too greasy. Nope. It's light, not a thick bacon, definitely light. It's really crispy. It looks like it is crispy. It has good flavor to it. Bacon hitting. Now my bacon hitting, but uh, I don't fries. The fries need a little bit of help. Need a little bit of help to struggle butter joints. These fries have been sitting. How long? Probably since yesterday morning. Stop it. Yesterday morning, and they probably just warmed them. If the fries are coming out of a fryer. They should be hot. Mm -hmm. And it's like the pepper didn't even want to stay on it. When I put the pepper on there, Ooh. it's mm. on there, but I see some like parlaying to the left, parlaying to the right. <laughs> they look she already started hating on the home fries. I didn't even get into them yet, so I don't know. You know, these joints are horrible or whatever. You know, you never judge a book by its cover, you give it a chance to dance. Mm. Usually I get my eggs a little bit, you know, sunny side or runny. I was afraid to do that way. Oh, I guess I'm running, they've been running up the door. Mmm. Potatoes. It's pretty soft. Really? I'm like closer to a mashed potato than a home fry. Mmm. Huh. Too long. Too long. Mm -hmm. But, bacon's still hitting up. Alright then. I think I can mess around and uh, mm -hmm. have one with jelly and then one without. English muffin. Can't go wrong. Fold that thing. I like it not folded. Sometimes with bacon on the inside, but fold it up. English muffin going to be soft and light and dark and crispy. It's however you toast it. And this is decent. Let me tell you something, though. I mean, uh, Why is it so hard to cut? This is beyond thick and fluffy. This is the next level. Is it steak pancakes? Come on, man. I am fighting the good fight over here. Oh my god. Okay, hold up. Forget it, forget it. You know what? Let's put some syrup on this thing. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, that's enough of that. I just wanna get right, let me get right into it. Let me just how bad can a pancake? It won't cut, so how bad can a pancake be? How's the chew on that? Nope. Are you struggling? Are you struggling? Would you come back and eat it again? Nope. I don't want to try now. It kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth. Uh uh. But if you like really thick and fluffy pancakes, this might be for you. There's a lot of chew going on here. And I, I noticed. Do mean a I lot noticed. Of chew. You've been eating for days. I'm, I'm all set here. I'm all set. And I'll start to get into her muffin up over here. And uh, you said it was bold and cold on the inside? It was nice on the outside. It was still frozen on the inside. It can't be frozen because then it'd be hard on the inside. It looks soft, right? It was just cold. All right, it was just very cold. Mm. Very cold. Okay, okay. It was semi heated through. Semi. So she ordered another one to go. I'm not ordering another nothing. These pancakes. You're just gonna go. Sit right there. I'm just gonna go. Home fries. Like I said, my eggs were good. English muffin was good. Home fries. Oh, come on, man. Mushy guts. Mushy watery guts. And here was just more gummy. A pancake. Really chewed. Just not my flair of pancake. 
It might be yours, just not mine. All right, channel five, man. Low ceiling, low ceiling alert. <laughs> so sliding out of, uh, let me get over here with it. Sliding out of Olympia Diner. <laughs> Some things they did right, the main things they did wrong. And the main for me, of course, would be the pancakes. My pancakes, mm-mm, mm-mm, family. Nah, baby, that's what we're not gonna do. Mom Dukes was so nice to go ahead and have them make her another corn muffin. She said it was, was the flavor of it was good. It was just kind of cold on the inside. So it might've been a situation where it was purchased at a location, frozen here until ordered, taken out, heated up, and the inside was still bold and cold. Nobody asked for that at the end of the day. But we're gonna take this to Yelp. You know what happens next. I holla. All right, fam, we're back like we never left. Olympia Diner, I have some things to discuss. Let's slide on over to Yelp and talk about it. Another spot for breakfast in Connecticut that definitely stays busy, and so they truly receive the local love for being a staple in Newington. However, they do miss the mark when it comes down to certain items on their menu. I went with a few basic choices, nothing too crazy really. Their bacon was crispy and packed enough flavor for me to truly enjoy each bite, and trust me, I most certainly enjoyed it, but when I moved over to the home fries, whose home did they come from? These potatoes were relaxing inside of some watery bliss all day long, turning to a soft, mush consistency, and with little to no regard of anyone's feelings, taste nothing short of mad at the world and upset with life that they had led thus far. I even tried to add salt and pepper to the situation at hand with these home fries and even the seasoning could not help. Poorly executed in my opinion, but we must move on. It is hard to go wrong with eggs fried hard and so at least the eggs came through with a good bite and decent flavor along with my English muffins. Again, unless you burn them, they'll be just fine. This brings us to the pancakes or gum cakes because they had so much chew. I thought someone delivered me a pack of Bubblicious. Fluffy and thick is one thing, but even while cutting these pancakes, I knew that I was in for a special treat that I did not ask for. I chewed on a fork full of pancakes for so long, I was able to plan out my day in my own head before it finally broke down in my mouth and went down. That was quite enough for me on their pancake front. Service was decent enough here, but I do not see a strong need to return anytime in this life or anyone else's until some changes have been made. Mm. I gotta keep it a bean with you fam. Like when things go good, things go great. I wanna showcase that, especially for mom and pop establishments. But when things go bad, even though it's a mom and pop establishment, I never wanna see mom and pops go out of business for any given reason, but I have to be real. I have to give it the score that it deserves in hopes things will change in the future. We'll see what happens. Whatever you want to see next for our best and worst review series, hit me in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate every last one of y'all. Bung bung, it's your boy Dame Drops. I holla. Oh, freshness of the salmon is what really brings you in. It's saying you just bit into something magnificent. I started doing food reviews in my car around 2009. And then my life changed. I'll go just about anywhere to get some good food. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. That is to devour. That's looking real good right there. Every bite has to be an experience. And I'm going to take you for that experience. You too. Mm. I'm the captain now. You know I'm not leaving until I tell you what my favorite fried food in the city ooh, is. Ooh, ooh. It hits all the spots. What I'm looking for is some good chicken and waffles. Let me tell you about this chicken. I mean, chicken dry? It's dry, we don't want it. So you talking juicy juice? It's got to be juicy. Is this what you do? I mean, this is what we do. Boom, boom, all over the place. Boom, boom, in my face. This is the most decadent burger that we have ever made. Starts with one pound of Wagyu on there, truffle cheese, gold, billionaire bacon on top, big lobster, yeah. gold dusted bun. It is the best burger you will ever have. You need a burger to have in a moment. All right. Enjoy your burger. All I need for you to do for me is keep it crispy. I had to kiss it. I had to kiss it. Just give me a moment. I have moments with my food. I Just... love you, man. This is fresh, fried, and crispy. Want to know why I call it a hush puppy? Did you hear me say anything while I was chewing it? 